Looking up at the night sky, have you noticed a familiar face gazing back at us most of the time? That's the moon, our lunar companion, lighting up our evenings, adding a bit of magic to our nighttime adventures. It's a fixture of our childhood tales and fables that were passed down through generations. The moon had been our constant companion since the dawn of times on Earth. But do you know that what we see is only a part of the story? When you see the moon, have you noticed that we always see only one side of it? That other side has always been hidden from our view from Earth. But why is that? Why do we only ever see this one side of the moon? What could be on the other side and why it is turned away from us? Welcome to Have You Wondered? And buckle up as we take a journey to the hidden half of our lunar neighbor and explore on why it is hidden from our sight. The answer to this celestial secret lies in a phenomenon called tidal locking. This is a gravitational dance between two celestial bodies. In this case, our Earth and the Moon. You see, when the Moon was formed, it spun much faster than it does today. Over time, Earth's gravity applied a pull on the regions of the Moon that were slightly closer to it, creating what we call tidal bulges. These bulges experienced resistance as they moved through the Moon's body, which gradually dissipated energy and slowed down the Moon's rotation. After millions of years, this interaction slowed the Moon's spin so much to the extent that it matches its orbit around Earth. This means the Moon takes just as long to rotate on its axis as it does to complete one orbit of Earth, about 27.3 days. As a result, the same side, the near side, always faces us, while the far side remains out of our view from Earth. This phenomenon is called synchronous tidal locking. The far side was a mystery to us until 1959, when the Soviet Luna 3 mission gave us the first glimpse of it. And it's quite different and unrecognizable. Unlike the near side, which has large dark plains known as Maria, the far side is mountainous and heavily cratered. This contrast is because the Earth shields the near side from many meteor impacts, while the far side is exposed to the harshness of space. Several missions have since mapped the geology of far side of the moon in great detail. China's Chang'e 4 mission even made history in 2019 by landing a rover there giving us a closer look at the surface features and composition. This mission has given us valuable insights, such as the discovery of mantle material on the surface, which could help scientists understand the moon's early history and its volcanic activity. But get this, our moon isn't the only one in this gravitational lockstep. Many of the moons orbiting Jupiter and Saturn, such as Ganymede, Europa, and Titan, show the same face to their planets, all keeping a steady gaze on their host planet. Tidal locking is the norm rather than the exception in our solar system for larger moons that have been orbiting for billions of years. And it's not just the moons that get tidally locked. Pluto and its moon. Charon are so into each other that they're both tidally locked with one another, stuck in a mutual spin of eternal commitment. This is a unique example of a double tidal lock, where the tidal forces between the two bodies have led to a mutual gravitational lock leading to what's known as a dual synchronous rotational system. And speaking of it, you might be wondering, why aren't we tidally locked to the moon? Well, it comes down to a balancing act of mass and momentum. You see, Earth's larger mass and rapid rotation mean the moon's gravity doesn't have the same effect on us as we do on it. However, the moon is pulling its weight with its gravitational interaction, a phenomenon known as tidal friction slowing us down by about 1.7 milliseconds per century. But don't worry, this slow dance will take billions of years to play out. And by that time, the face of our solar system will have changed entirely. Now, if the moon can be tidally locked with Earth, could Earth end up the same way with the sun? Theoretically, yes. In fact, many exoplanets we've discovered in distant solar systems are tidally locked to their stars. These exoplanets have one side in perpetual daylight and the other in eternal night leading to extreme conditions that could challenge the prospects of life as we know it. But as for our home planet, the Earth's rotation is slowing down at such a gradual rate due to the Moon's influence that the Sun will have ended its main sequence life, expanding into a red giant and possibly engulfing the Earth, long before any tidal lock could occur. The Moon's far side is a testament to the complex gravitational relationship between Earth and its satellite. It's a reminder that in the vastness of space, even our closest neighbor holds secrets that took millennia to uncover. The next time you gaze up at the moon, remember that it has two faces, and it's tidal locking that keeps its far side as an eternal mystery to those of us bound by Earth's gravity. Thank you for joining us on this lunar quest. 
If you've enjoyed this exploration, hit the like button, share with fellow space enthusiasts, and subscribe for more answers to cosmic questions. Until next time, keep wondering.